everyone welcome back so today we're going to secure your virtual hub using azure firewall manager and azure firewall manager is a security management service that provides central security policies and route management for cloud-based security parameters so the tasks that we're going to perform today are we're going to create uh, two spoke virtual machines sorry virtual networks and uh, subnets related to that and we're going to create a uh, secure virtual hub then we're going to connect hub as well as the virtual networks that we have created and then we're going to deploy the servers then we're going to create uh, firewall policies and secure the hub and then associate the firewall uh, policy then route the traffic to the hub in the end we'll test the application as well as the network rules so let's go ahead and start so initially we have to create the virtual networks for that so i've already created it uh, just to save the time because uh, for uh, azure uh, firewall manager it takes like 30 minutes so that's the reason i've already created it so let's go ahead and create a virtual uh, network and this i've already created one so these are the two different uh, networks that we have created let me show you how i have created that so create the virtual network select the appropriate uh, azure pass and select the resource group in this case i have created this so if you don't have any just create new and give the name here so in this case i have given this name and uh, coming to the name it's uh, spoke zero one so this is the one that i have given since it's already present uh, we are getting the error give one so pretty much this and then coming to the ip configurations this is the space that we have to add so this is the one since it's already there like we are getting error but however let's go ahead and continue and coming to subnet add one subnet and uh, in this case it will be workload send let me show you so this is the name that we have given and uh, coming to subnet this is the range of the subnet and just click add and then finally just go ahead and review and create so this is the first uh, network that we have created similarly we have to create the other network so these are the two networks and uh, this is what we have created so once you create this the next uh, stage will be creating the virtual hub for that we have we ha uh, need to go to the manager so we have to click uh, firewall manager so i've already created here so we already created two hubs and uh, so two, uh, two virtual networks and now it's time to create the hub so initially you can you will be seeing zero here so for that you have to go to virtual hubs and here you have to create one so i've already created one let me show you how i have created that and select the appropriate azure pass select the resource group that is and select the region and uh, give the name in this case it will be hub01 and uh, coming to the space the space that we have given and uh, coming to the name this is the one so since we are getting things already it's present so pretty much the same this is the configurations and you can check other sections and just go ahead and create it since we are getting errors since already we have created it so let me show you what we have created so this is the one that we have created so once this is done once uh, you create it uh, make sure that uh, you select this public ip and just store it so this is my uh, public IP address. So store it in some place. So let's say store it here. So then now we have to connect the hub as well as uh, spoke virtual networks. For that, let's go to the resource groups. So, so this is the resource group that we have created. Click it. And these are the different uh, applications inside this uh, resource group. 
and now select this and uh, now we have to add the connection so this already we have created so you have to add the connection and you have to give the name in this case uh, the name would be this is the name according to the Microsoft Docs and uh, select the hub select the appropriate subscription and uh, then select the resource group and select the virtual network in this case select the first virtual network and uh, just create it so similarly you have to create another one which is uh, spoke 02 so we have already created one and then we have to create the other one too so these are the two networks that we have connected so it is done so once it's done we have to deploy the servers in this case we'll be using the cloud shell So you have to upload uh, certain files which i'll be providing in the description so you can uh, click this section and you can just upload it and select uh, firewall manager as well as uh, this two for uh, these two files so once it's done make sure that it, they are available so just click ls so you can see they are available now you can uh, run the command so this is the command that you have to paste so you can find it in the description or you can find it in the github so i'll provide you this as well so once it's done you will be there will be two virtual machines which will be created so if i go to virtual machines so these are the two different virtual machines that uh, will be created and uh, make sure uh, you note the their ip address so I believe, yeah so this is one of the ip so and this is for this one. and then select the other one too oh, well it's taking a lot of time So this is this one. So we have noted down. Now you have to create the firewall policy and secure the hub. So for that you have to go to the manager. So so after creating, you will be seeing uh, this dashboard. And now you have to view the your policies. So we already created one now uh, let me show you how i have created that just select the azure pass select the resource group and uh, come into the name this is the name that we have given and select the appropriate region in this case it will be east us and uh, let it be change this to standard and uh, once this is done just go to the next dns settings just see them and uh, next you have to add the rules so in this case we have to add three rules the first one let me show you so in this case it will be for the application so this is the name that we have given and select the application and uh, the priority will be 100 according to the docs and you should select allow and uh, coming to the name it's we are allowing microsoft in this case in the previous video we have allowed google but not the microsoft so you have to just click star which means all and the protocols in this case it will be both uh, http as well as https and uh, coming to the destination it will be the Microsoft let me paste it so this is the one so once this is done you have to just click add so after this once this is done you have to create another 
So now we have created the application. The second one will be the NAT. So change the name, give the priority 100. And uh, let me change it for you. So this is the name that we have given. And uh, coming to the name, it will be allow RDP. So once this is done, select the IP address and coming to the source, it will be all. So here yeah, start. And uh, coming to the protocol, it will be the TCP. And coming to the destination ports, it will be 3389. And IP and uh, the destination IP will be the public IP that uh, we have. Why it's showing like this? Oh. So this is the IP that we have to paste here. So it's done. And uh, coming to the transmission address, we have to select uh, the first VM IP, which is this one. So we have given the name and uh, select the appropriate port number and just click add. So this is the second rule that we're going to create. And then the final rule will be for the network. So let me show you that one as well. So VNet and you have to just select network here and priority this is the same and then coming to the name it will be allow VNet. So done IP source will be star anyone. Coming to protocol this will be the TCP and coming to the destination ports it will be 3389. Okay. 3389 and the destination type will be ip address which is already specified there and coming to the destination ip this will the this will be the other one so this is the one so copy it and paste it so pretty much these are the three rules that uh, we'll be writing and just click yes since i already created i'm not creating again so let me show you so these are the rules that we have created for network for application as well as NAT so once this is done you have to just create it and then we have to associate the firewall policy so for that let's go back and uh, here under security you can see firewall policies and uh, here you can see associate so now you can't see anything you have to just select it and uh, click associate hubs so we have already associated the hub just click and add it since i've already added i'm not adding again uh, so just once it's done just refresh so it will be associated done so once this is done the next thing is you have to route traffic to your hub for that let's go to virtual hubs and you have to click this virtual hub and coming to the settings uh, security configurations you can see here initially there will be none but you have to select azure firewall and uh, in the private traffic you have to select send via azure firewall and make sure that under internet traffic it's secured by firewall for both the virtual networks so once it's done now you can test the application for that you have to connect to remote so this is the public IP that uh, I have shown you previously. So this is the one we have noted. So just click connect. And the user will be the test user and coming to the password. Let me paste the password. So everything can be found in the GitHub. So let me also give in the description. So once it's done, click yes. So this is the virtual machine that he's been creating. <laughs> Not sure what's happening here.
but I should say that's a good design. There you go. Finally, it has been loaded. So let me go to the explorer and let me type the Microsoft here. So you can see uh, the where we can access the Microsoft. So for instance, if we go to Google, it will be blocked. So you can see. So the rules are working properly, and now we are, uh, let's try the network rule. So from here, let us try to connect through RDP. Sorry, it's a remote connection here in type up. And you have to add the private IP of the second uh, VM that we have noted. In this case, it will be 0.4. Well, it's the test user and the coming to password is the password. Let's click OK. Yes. Okay. Let's paste it. Yes. So when I was testing, I think I have not uh, closed it, so that's the reason it's showing the error. So the network rule is also working properly in this case. Let me see. But however, you can see the remote desktop uh, alert where it's ready, where, it's, where it was ready to connect. So one thing we can do is uh, we can go to the virtual machine. So this is the one and uh, try to restart this. Flash. Now let's try this So you can see now we were able to exit. So even uh, the other rule is also working. So this is pretty much. So we were able to access the VM as well. So yeah, I hope you guys have uh, understood the concept of uh, using the Azure Firewall Manager and securing the virtual, uh, virtual hub. So if you have liked the video, please click like button below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys.